In today's video, we are going to discuss about a very important web part which is known as SharePoint Online Events web part. So here we are going to discuss about how we can um, add this web part in a SharePoint online site page and how we can use this event web part to display events. And then how we will do the configurations. There are certain configurations are there. We will see how we can do that. And then I'll show you how we can create events also in SharePoint online. And then finally, I'll show you how we can enable target audience for this particular uh, web part. Now let me open a SharePoint online site. You can see here, this is my SharePoint online site. And in this site, what I'll do here is I'll create a page on this. So I'll click here and then I'll click on page and create page. So I'll give a name for it. I will give the name as events web part and I'll simply publish this web part. So our web part page is ready on this. And now we can edit this web part and we can add our events web part. So before going further, let me tell you, if you are new to the channel, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. You will get a lot of free videos on Microsoft 365 technologies, especially in SharePoint Online, Power Platform, SPFX like this. So now what we will do here is I will click on this uh, add button and then I will select here. So I'll select here uh, events so you can see here. Now this event show part is coming. So you can see here by default, something is appearing. I'll just edit it. And then I will show you how exactly the things are there. First of all, source from where you want to uh, show the uh, event. So if you'll see here event list on this site, uh, from this site only, or if, if you are saying this site, then uh, maybe all, all those events it will take. And then this site collection, all site, or you can choose a specific site also. So once once you do this, you can see here, you can choose a specific site uh, that way. So if you want to display your events from a specific site, you can take that as well. So for this one, I will take uh, from events for a list on this site. So events is a list basically. I'll open that. I'll show you that. And then... Uh, I will choose. So in this case, if you'll see here, two events are there, uh, two lists are there, events and team events. So I will show you exactly when you will create an event, how exactly this list are getting created. And then the category, if you want category, it will populate it. So based on your events, it will show the categories. Again, for that also, I'll show you from where you can set the categories. And then date range, if you want to show that all upcoming events or stuff like that. And then the layout. So uh, if you want compact layout, it will show you like this. If you want a uh, film strip layout, it will show you like this. And uh, then number of items and enable tar target audience. So number of items, you can you can increase the number, how many items you want to display at one time. And then the audience targeting. So once you will click on audience targeting, you will have to change it in the list itself as well. I'll show you that. So now what I'll do here is I'll just republish this page. You can see here normal, you can see the events here. If you want to create an event on this, you can see here one way is once you add a web part, it will show you add event. So you can see here once you click on add event, I will say let's say demo event one and you can give the time stuff like that. Then um, you can put enter everything on this and then even the participant, you can you can do that. So for example, you will say uh, user one, uh, you can see here user one uh, uh, that is the participant will be so same way you can choose the names as well so i'll save this image so now you can see here this event has been saved now i'll go to the page so i'll go here and then i'll go to the events wp page you will be able to see here rec demo event one is coming here as well right so this is how you can add events one way the other way is ideally what will happen is when you will create an event uh, behind the scene, if you'll see here, go to the site content, you will see that there is a list created as events. So in that events, you will see the, uh, you know, all these events are there. So which you can take on this. Uh, you can see here demo event one, which we created product launch is also there, right? So th those events are there. And the other way is in this, if you'll see here, I have created one more list, team events list, you can see here, right? So this is also one list I have created. Again, you can see the look and feel. This is still the classic look and feel of it. So if you want to change it, you will have to use the uh, default classic layout on this. So what I'll do here is if you want to create it, so let's say because this is a classic calendar that you have to create, 
So you click on new and then click on app. So once you click on app, you will see here classic experience is there. So click on this classic experience and on that you will see the apps over there. So when you will see there is a calendar app is there. It, this is the classic app here. You can give the events here. So I will say HR events, right? So if I'll say HR events, I'll click on create. And then you can see here, this is my HR event. And on this, suppose in uh, 31st, we are going to have a uh, policy discussion. And uh, you can see, you can choose the uh, start time end type and you can see the category as well. So category, let's say I will say uh, business and I'll click on save. So if you'll see here now, you can see this event has been created. And if I will go to the site content page now, if I'll go to the site content, uh, you can see here site contents. If I'll go, you can see here HR events is created now. So I'll go to the pages where we have created our or where we have added our events page. You can see here this is not coming obviously because we have not selected the list. So I'll select it and if you'll click on edit, you can see here uh, now events uh, list on this site or you can say this site. So you can see here when I'm saying this site, I have um, you know items from different list as well. But if you want to display from a particular list, you can click over, uh, let's say, events list on this site. It will show you all the lists which are created on this. And I will check HR event. So once you click on HR event, you can see here. Now you have a uh, policy discussion which event we created. And look at the category. If you'll see here, remember, we choose the category as business. And you can see here the filter. You can say it will show also from this particular list which category of events you want to display here suppose you want to display or get together so you can choose that option so once you have a uh, event created on that category that thing will appear here and you can see here all up, uh, upcoming events or uh, you know you can select next week this week all these things also you can set that range so this is how you can uh, use it now if you want to do a uh, audience targeting for this so you have to, first thing is you have to enable it here but that will not that is not sufficient for doing that i have created other video tutorials like the uh, you know recent documents documents web part so where i have explained how you can do this if audience targeting as well but let me tell you here as well i'll go to the site content page you can see here hr event so i'll go there and here you can see uh, go to the calendar and list settings. So in the list setting, you can see here audience targeting is there. So audience targeting is here. You can say enable audience targeting, click on OK. So once you click on OK and go back to the event here, now you edit this event, you click this event and then you click on edit item. So once you edit this, you can see here, it is asking for enter the user separated with semicolon. So you can add users here. Suppose I'll put here, uh, let's say Vijay. Uh, so that means I am uh, just telling that I want this event to be available only to this user. So you can see here, I said this and in our page, if you'll see here, this page, it is coming as well. Uh, let me just edit it once again. So. Uh, you can see here policy discussion is coming because uh, we have uh, used from that HR events which we have created the uh, audience targeting, right? So I have enabled it, you can see here. Now I'll republish it. So what I will do is um, I will go to, uh, a, I will log in, logged in with a different user on this. So I will go here. So you can see here what I have done is I logged in with another user which is user 2 you can see here and when I open this you can see here the user will not be able to see that event. So uh, why because that that is we have set audience targeting for that. So this is how we can use this event web part to display calendar events in a SharePoint online modern site. And if you want similar kind of videos, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. You, as I said before, you will get a lot of free videos on Microsoft 365 technologies like SharePoint Online, Power Platform and SPFX, etc. Thank you and have a nice day.